Happy sunshine, family. Welcome back to the Lunacy Channel. We've got another update in our Waging War with Weather series. Today is September 22nd, 2017, and it is about a quarter of 11 in the morning, so about 1045 Pacific Time. We're going to head on over to our composite feed first. And the first thing I notice is, look at this monstrosity storm over Wisconsin. Now we track this all the way from, oh, what it was, the this tri-state area? Or no, that was this right here. Uh, oh yeah, these were the storms that were blowing in. Uh, they were just forming off of the radar off of the radar that was firing in eastern North Dakota. So the storm came into Minnesota right here. And it wasn't, it had some red spots in it, but it wasn't this large then. So it's continuing on over Nebraska. We've got the remnants of the storm that started here, all of it that appears, started right in this tri-state area. Well, the radar in Washington is considerably less. It's considerably less over the whole country, but we still see that where we do have the predominant amount of radar right now, uh, wow, Louisiana's got some interesting, look at that. Louisiana and into over to Houston, Texas. And look at this flow from offshore. Look how fast this wet weather is coming in. It's being generated right here and just heading right for the coast. And then, wow, we need to zoom in on Florida. Yeah, there's some changes in this Florida weather. Wow. It almost looks like something is splitting this moisture in half, sending some of it into Florida and keeping a pocket of it out here. You see that right here? This area just gets ripped right off and thrown right into Florida. That's amazing, guys. Wham! How does that happen? Mm-hmm. Well, let's zoom this back out. Yeah, wow, that looks like nasty weather up in northern Wisconsin. Yuck. And what do we got the upper peninsula here? All right, let's head on over to IntelliCast. Wow. You know, this, this is getting bigger. You know, the Truth Channel, that woman over there might Wow, she had some suspicions, and, and they may be realized here. She was thinking that these clouds here are going to form into a whatever storm system they're telling us is Hurricane Maria. And we can see when we take off the satellite imagery, we cannot even tell that, that there's a hurricane here. And it's moving really slow. It, it was a couple days ago. It purportedly ravaged Puerto Rico. Um, we're, we're not quite sure what's going on with, uh, with the information or possible information blackout coming out of Puerto Rico during the hurricane. 
Uh, there's reports that they've lost power and might be without power for an extended period of time, and yet we've already got uh, some weather stations reporting wind speeds, and I'm just going to pull it over here onto the... I don't know quite the proper pronunciation for this, but I'm going to I'm going to attempt it. Garachels, I don't know. 17 miles an hour. So so they are reporting wind speeds there right now. And they were reporting wind speeds the whole time from the Dominican Republic. And none of them were indicative of hurricane type weather. You know, interestingly enough, on this IntelliCast logo where they've got the hurricane symbol, uh, I just wanted to point out that if you uh, look at it, it's two sixes. We've got a six that's right side up and one that's upside down. So it's almost like a 69 and then the 9 was just brought over, and the circle of the 9 overlays the circle of the 6, and you get your hurricane sign. And we all know about 66 if you've been in the Gematria rabbit hole. All right, let's play this. All righty, there we are. So for the most part, this looks like a static mass of moisture that's hovering just offshore. And this is very similar to what we saw when Hurricane Irma just magically appeared right down here between the southern tip of Florida and Cuba. And similar to what we saw with Jose, uh, somebody left me a comment that Jose has been downgraded to a tropical storm. Let's, let's overlay this satellite image here. It never really looked right. Wow, there's just... Wow, there's weird stuff going on, guys. And no radar reflectivity off of the storm purported to be a hurricane, Hurricane Maria. Now, I don't doubt that there's moisture out here. I don't doubt that, that these places were getting a lot of wet, nasty weather. What I'm pointing out is that we have a lot of observations that contradict the official story that we've been given. And these observations are piling up really quickly. And the more they pile up, the harder they are to ignore. It becomes impossible to unsee these types of observations. Now, kind of focusing my attention over here on Texas, um, I want to be careful about my message here. And my message is that I cannot verify any of this information myself, but the information is of such a nature that uh, even just knowing that there's a question about what's truly going on in Houston is very important. It's important that if anything else happens anywhere in the country, that people immediately question it. There's a channel, uh, the Show Me Be By, I don't know, the Show Me Baby, I guess. Maybe there's an A missing. Uh, this guy has posted some very interesting testimony, especially this video right here, my time at Hurricane Harvey. 
uh, the 49 minute view or 49 minute video. In a nutshell, uh, he's part of the militia. I believe he's from the northern Midwest and he rode down to Texas to help citizen militias uh, set up camps, base camps to defend them uh, from the feds and other authorities coming in trying to disarm them. Uh, he took a lot of video of just the the big federal response and he was there to to help out uh, as best he can and he's he's saying some things that uh, I I can't confirm but they are very 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 disturbing uh, if this is truly what's going on um, I've seen in this most recent video his response to haters. He's using his cell phone to take video of a laptop. And on this laptop are videos that, uh, that he's recorded himself or that he's saved. Uh, one of them is a news broadcast. Uh, it sounds like a typical national news uh, station, I don't know which network it was, where they were talking about these ships that were brought into Port Arthur. Huge, huge ships. And they were temporary housing ships, but uh, what I don't know what this guy's name is, the, the show me baby, is saying that they're FEMA prison ships. And they showed some pictures of the inside of it on the on the news broadcast and i mean it, it it just looks like they picked up a prison and put it on a huge barge guys it it doesn't look friendly at all and uh he's saying don't go uh into the FEMA ships and he says that there's people that have been sent out to FEMA camps that have never been heard from again he talked about uh, intentional floodings of cities uh, multiple times because there were so many dead bodies, many of them from gunshots. Uh, he says it was it was basically people were out hunting people are the words that he used. And all of this situation comes from the geoengineered storm of Hurricane Harvey. Now, I wasn't watching the radar feeds as Hurricane Harvey was forming. I, not like I'm watching the radar feeds now. I hadn't come across even the idea to look for discrepancies in the way the reflective water moisture is being reported versus NASA satellites. Um, but we've had four or five hurricanes reported to us in about three weeks. And one of them broke all records by dumping more than 55 zero inches of rain. I believe the, the highest area got 52, if I remember correctly. And I've got some internet acquaintances in Houston, and the reports from Houston are pretty dismal. And uh, to see Hurricane Harvey make landfall, come back, make landfall again, I mean, it was just like, It was like a fist that just kept punching Texas. And to watch on radar Weather Wars 101 video where you could see the rapid water vapor generation start up 
as Harvey crossed on the land and kept that thing going and kept it fueled with moisture for what almost a week and then to the the reports i've heard are that uh levees and dams were intentionally breached and uh And then when you put that together with what the show me baby, I'm just going to call him the show me baby. What, uh, he says that, that they flooded the town a few times to wash away the bodies out to sea so that they didn't have to carry them on the county books to have more deaths. They can just be listed as missing persons and that they did this several times. And it was, basically using the town as a toilet and flushing it out into the Gulf. These are some grisly words this guy is talking about, and I'm looking at his mannerisms. You know what? Let's just pop open uh, one of these videos here, and I'm just going to rewind this back to the beginning. I want to I show you something. Okay, let's pop this up big screen. This guy's got bags under his eyes. So already I know that this guy's been under a lot of stress lately. His demeanor and his mannerisms appear to me to be that of somebody who has been through a critical incident, a, a trying ordeal. He's, he's been changed by his experiences is the feeling that I get. Now, I haven't vetted any of his stories, any of the, any of the videos that he's, uh, that he's showing, but I have no reason at all to doubt what he's saying at this point and it appears that his message is coming from a place of love and you all should go over and check this out and run it through your own personal filters and make up your own mind but I want you to prepare yourself the things that he talks about uh, are not going to be found on, you know, family-friendly sitcoms or anything like that. This is some dark, dark stuff. And the reason I mention it is because he says it's coming from personal observations, and he's been able to show some videos that he says he took and that combined with the words that he offers kind of sets off an interesting cocktail of emotions inside my being as I listen to him. And I don't quite know what that cocktail of emotions is all about, but right now it's definitely about sharing this information and and just making sure that that you guys are aware that this is out there so that's all for the friday morning peek at the radar let's switch this one back over to intellicast where did intellicast go there it is And it didn't work. Okay. Well, anyways, we're ending the video now anyway. I love you guys a lot. If you have any email for me, any love, light, or links, send them to lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E, -E, at protonmail.com. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.